the Insurance Institute for Highway Safety's front crash of the Pontiac Transport. The transport crumples as it hits the offset barrier, crushing the front end and badly damaging the passenger compartment. The floor buckles and the seat tilts forward. As a result, it earns a poor rating. After the dummy moves into the airbag, the neck snaps rearward as the steering wheel intrudes. Then the dummy's head is hit by the seat back and head restraint. As you can see, the forces on the driver are devastating. There is a likelihood of neck injury as well as injury to both of the lower legs. That's the Insurance Institute for Highway Safety's front crash of the Dodge Grand Caravan. I'm Jeff Bartlett with Consumer Reports. Now let's look at this test in slow motion. The short front end folds like an accordion when it slams into the barrier. Leg and foot injuries are likely and head damage is possible. Although this is a 2001 Grand Caravan, it has been retrofitted with an important safety feature made standard for 2002. In this test, the update proved to reduce the risk of a potential fuel leak. Overall, the Dodge Grand Caravan earns an acceptable rating in the Insurance Institute's frontal offset test. That's the Insurance Institute for Highway Safety's front crash of the Ford Windstar. As the minivan slams into the offset barrier, notice that the front wheel moves back into the footwell. That contributes to the risk of injury to the left leg. In the closer shot, you can see that the dummy rebounds into the seat without its head coming close to any stiff structures that could cause harm. However, the steering wheel moves up during impact. Overall, the Windstar earns an acceptable rating in the Insurance Institute's frontal offset test. That's the Insurance Institute for Highway Safety's front crash of the Honda Odyssey. Overall, the Odyssey gets the highest possible rating of good in this test. Injury measurements indicate a low risk of significant injuries. While the minivan's structural integrity was maintained reasonably well, the steering wheel had too much upward movement during the impact. There's very little intrusion anywhere. Mm -hmm. The damage is confined to the crumple zone of the vehicle. This is the way it should be. A person in a crash like this, wearing their seat belt and protected by the airbag, can walk away from the crash with no injury. Right. If I stand over here, and I just look towards the rear of the car and I ignore the airbag, this doesn't even look like it's been in a crash. That's right. This is good performance, good crash worthiness. In our shipping box analogy, this is an example of a strong box. That's right. The people in this box will be protected. In Europe, things are just as bad and worse. Greece and Ireland needed bailouts in 2010 from the International Monetary Fund and the European Toyota Sienna did better overall in Insurance Institute crash tests than any other vehicle tested, ever. Nothing.